There's another way to do it. Second option is to remove the free radicals. But here's the problem. Remember I said at the very beginning, there's that second inner membrane and most of the antioxidants can't get in there. But the good news is superoxide dismutase, chlorophyll and melatonin can't. But let's concentrate on, on superoxide dismutase. So what happens is superoxide dismutase gets inside that inner membrane and what does it do? It converts the free radicals to water. Ta-da, harmless water. So this saves your mitochondria. The, the problem, so, and, and the way I describe it to people, it, it, you know, think of superoxide dismutase, almost also known as SOD, as firefighters. They come in, there's all the free radicals causing a fire like, a, like sparks and superoxide dismutase just converts it to water and saves your mitochondrial DNA. But the problem is our bodies normally, when we're younger, generate superoxide dismutase. But as you get older, you get less and less of it generated and virtually to a point where you, when you need it the most, you have virtually none. The other problem is there's virtually no superoxide dismutase found in any other foods. There's a teeny tiny bit in cabbage or broccoli, but it's so minuscule, it, it almost doesn't even register and it gets damaged during digestion. So, so here you are, you, you need something to stop the free radical damage and superoxide dismutase works and it's been scientifically proven. And I have all these great references I can give you and you can put with your show notes. So, um, so the good news is spirulina has the highest superoxide dismutase in the world, but there's a trick. Superoxide dismutase is an enzyme. Remember I mentioned at the very beginning and heat kills all enzymes, including superoxide dismutase. And, but the good news is we don't use high heat to dry our algae and we never have. And I made that decision 12 years ago before I even knew about superoxide dismutase. I knew enzymes were important. And so this explains to me why when people use our product and then maybe they go buy a less expensive version, they always come back because they tell, tell us it didn't work as well. And this is one of the reasons why, because all the other algae companies that are lower priced, they are high volume, uh, low price products. So they use high heat to get it to market. But we've always been a low volume, high quality company. And so we've never used high heat. So our superoxide dismutase is intact and alive, just like all the other enzymes. And I was recently telling someone also that you need enzymes to help with your digestion. So not only do you get your superoxide dismutase, you get the benefit of the, all the enzymes that are in there to help with your other digestion. And the other cool thing about spirulina, remember I mentioned at the beginning, it's a, it's a cyanobacteria. And because it's a bacteria, it has no cellulose wall. So it gets absorbed, all the nutrients, all the amino acids, all the superoxide dismutase gets absorbed almost instantly. So it can be directed, you get 99% bioavailability. So it gets shunted to your mitochondria to do the work that it needs to do. And just to show you also how powerful this is, they did a study with, they gave um, people who were anxious and depressed and had no um, energy, a hundred units of superoxide dismutase. And within weeks, their energy was back, their mood was improved, their anxiety was gone. And each one of our tablets has the equivalent of almost a thousand units, but only a hundred made a difference. So it's, it's very, very exciting to me to know that we've got something in our algae that can really, really help people. Not only give them yeah, energy- SOD is, SOD is really key too. And a lot of people have genetic polymorphisms because, yes. you know, naturally our body creates uh, superoxide dismutase. And ideally, you know, if you're, you know, living a healthier lifestyle, you should be able to produce enough to, you know, meet the demands, the oxidative burden on your body. However, you know, if you have genetic polymorphism and you're underproducing SOD, uh, or if you're just in a, you know, an environment that perhaps, you know, you're, you're, you're stressed out, right? You're maybe dealing with past trauma or current trauma, or you're toxic, right? You are living in a moldy home or you're exposed to something, um, eat food with a bunch of pesticides, right? Processed foods, then that can overwhelm your intracellular antioxidant defense system, your SOD levels. And this is where you, you need that extra added security, right? That's something that like spirulina can provide here. 
I, that's why I, I actually call spirulina, well, both algae, but especially spirulina, your um, health insurance, your yeah. nutrition insurance, because it gives you, it also has 40 other vitamins and minerals and the highest chlorophyll. We'll talk about chlorophyll in a minute. But um, if you are taking, if you can take five or 10 tablets every day, 10 would be better. Um, and, be, and it also has the highest melatonin. Now I want mm. people to, I want people to know that um, melatonin only makes you um, sleepy when you are exposed to dark. Right. So, so um, and, and because when you're exposed to light, it hits that pineal gland and inhibits production. So and yeah, I, a lot of people would think that if you're taking something with melatonin during the day, oh, this is going to put me to sleep. Like it's some sort of a, a prescription medication, but it's not, but it's not, it's really more of an adaptogen that, exactly. you know, helps kind of optimize brain function, immune function. Uh, so if you were to take it, you know, something that has a lot of melatonin during the day, Kind of like magnesium. A lot of people think the same about magnesium. They're like, oh, like we, we have a, a magnesium called brain calm magnesium. And one of the most common questions people say is, if I take that during the day, will it put me to sleep? And I'm like, no, actually it helps you with focus, right? Yeah. It helps you be more focused, concentrate better, you know, and, and taking something like a spirulina uh, and getting the melatonin out of that's going to act more as an adaptogen, right? Helping with mental performance during the day. Right. But when you're exposed to nut, to, to dark, uh, you no longer have that break on your body's own natural melatonin production. And now it just enhances it and, uh, you know, allows you, you to, to naturally fall asleep. Right. And, and that's why, you know, we've always called our spirulina energy bits because it gives you mental energy, it gives mm. you physical energy. Yep. Athletes love the product. So they've been taking it for years. I just recently started learning about melatonin and out of curiosity, I thought, well, I'm going to get some lab tests to find out if there's melatonin in our algae. And it came back so high. Mm. I told them they had to do the test again because I didn't believe it. So it d absolutely does not make you tired yeah. during the day. What it does is it's, it's energizing your cellular structure. It's energizing your mitochondria. And when they are energized, they are generating more ATP more efficiently. Yeah. Um, and, and also there's, you know, less damage to your mitochondria DNA yeah. so that the communications between all your cellular structures are more effective and there's less, uh, you know, cell, cellular death unless it's meant to be either through apoptosis because there's, um, there's a lot of different things that go on at the cellular level, but it's very energizing at the cellular level. So yeah. it's, it's, it's energizing in a non-stimulatory effect, Correct. Uh, more Correct. of a modulation and optimization. Yes. That's why a lot of, I know you got, you guys work with a lot of athletes. A lot of athletes are taking this, you know, before yes. they compete. Right. Right. Yeah. Yep. And, and it's not, as you said, it's not a stimulant and there's no rush and there's no crash because it's yeah. just, um, optimizing i think is the best way to describe it what's going on at the cellular level and any athletes who are listening uh, because there's you know third highest concentration of mitochondria are in your muscles so uh, not only do you get the uh, immediate benefits of the energy you extend the life of your muscle group because you have more mitochondria being preserved um, and 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 regenerating at a healthy level